Uh, sometimes you gotta try a couple times. Okay, thought I heard it make the whirring sound that it's supposed to. I'll try it again. Oh, there. I heard the relays engage that time. Okay, so sometimes you gotta do that a couple times. And we'll put this into reverse. And look at that, it went into reverse. And oh my god. Did someone steal my catalytic converter from my Prius? I uh, started up uh, yesterday or actually it was this morning, and it was just loud, it was super loud. Holy cow. It sounded like it had no muffler on it. So I was trying to figure out what happened, and I asked my buddy at work. He says, oh yeah, people have been stealing catalytic converters. Oh my god, no way, let's take a look under the car. So, so, so uh, if you want to know if someone stole your catalytic converter, first clue is... You start the car and it's super loud. And second clue is we'll look under the car and uh, see if it's there. See if the part's missing. Okay, so here's our Prius. And I just get down under here, looking down underneath. And there's look up on look up on the inside. It seems like the catalytic converter is missing. Okay, so I've been looking into what I'm going to do about this uh, fiasco with the uh, someone stealing my catalytic converter off my Prius. I called the police and I talked to them. And they said, yeah, lots of people have been stealing them and I was going to make a police report. I haven't done that quite yet. I uh, <clears throat> called them and they said they're going to come over and oh, I guess they were too busy and I had to cancel because they were just waiting all night and they didn't come. And... Um, talked uh, to the insurance company and this car just has PLPD on it just uh, that personal liability and they said well we don't cover we don't cover theft so I guess if someone comes and cuts off part of your car and you just have a, a collision that's all then you gotta replace it yourself I was looking at Amazon and um, they have some really cheap catalytic converters and I was trying to figure out you know what why they're so cheap they're only like a hundred dollars and uh, of course I need to get the oxygen sensor as well because uh, they stole the whole unit and uh, I guess the uh, cheap Chinese catalytic converters don't last very long but you know what I'm, I'm fine with if it lasts a year or whatever I'm fine with putting on a cheap one on there cuz <laughs> I won't care it'll be more more <laughs> more effort for them to steal it than it's worth right They'll do $100 worth of work and put their uh, life in danger because they could go to jail for if they get caught to uh, steal some cheap Chinese thing. I'm fine replacing it. I'm not going to put an expensive one back on here if the, you know, they're going to just be able to steal it and get away with it like, like what they're doing. No one's going to catch them. No one's going to reimburse me. So it's, I guess what, it kind of reminds me of um, my buddy who lived in Russia told me the stories about uh you know they had to get on a waiting list and wait for years to uh, get a car and the cars were really crappy they broke down all the time so you couldn't get parts for them he had to build a special uh, uh lug for his tire he made an oval shaped lug so that um and a special socket to take it off because if, if you didn't uh somehow put some kind of uh protection on your your wheels people would steal your wheels in russia I guess that's where we're heading here. <laughs> Looks like a communist takeover of America because, you know, what was it Stalin said that no people are more helplessly um, um, 
uh, slaves to the state or it's slave to the state than people who are in poverty. And that's what communism is all about, is impoverishing the people. <laughs> that's what we're seeing with this. Can't even talk about it. You know the recent events anyway. Because uh, they will, everything's under censorship and they won't kick me off the channel if I even talk about that because we live in a free country, right? Freedom. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do about fixing this uh, fiasco. Okay, it looks like they have finally arrived. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, making sure this is what I think it is. Come on, it says oxygen sensor. Okay, so those uh, criminals that cut my catalytic converter off my car stole everything, including the oxygen sensor. And let's take a look here. So here is our new oxygen sensor. Okay. And let's see what's inside of the big box, which I hope is our new catalytic converter. But he said that his uh, sons just got his, he got two trucks and someone stole the catalytic converters off of both of those. Oh, let's take a look here. Okay, so here it is. Looks like there's some kind of flange here that bolts onto our car. So there's a spot where we need to put the uh, oxygen sensor and uh, let's just undo this So there is a new catalytic converter, and I don't know, someone was suggesting that you put your uh, VIN number on this somehow, maybe inscribe it. Let's take a look at the whole thing. Uh, I don't know if people are selling the whole catalytic converter, if they're just taking the metals out of it, or... <clears throat> it seems like it's organized crime, which uh, of course runs the world. Big corporations, everything else are run by organized crime. If you don't know, you can't uh, start a business and have it. If you start to get big, they'll take you over. Politicians, governments are all a form of organized crime. Okay. Just out of curiosity, I do believe this is where our sensor goes. Oh, come on, it's like hanging up. I'm not sure if I have a uh, uh, Allen wrench that fits that size. grab a pair of pliers and just pull that off. Okay. Actually, I have a bunch of Allen wrenches here. Okay, so here I found an Allen wrench. And let's see what size is that. Number 8 millimeters, I guess. Pull this thing out of here. We'll take a look. Let's see if our oxygen sensor fits into that hole. Make sure everything fits, okay. 
Okay, and then good. It looks like it screws into there. Does it? Okay, there we go. I take this back out while I install the uh, exhaust or the uh, the catalytic converter because I don't want to be banging this sensor around. Okay. Oh, very cool, huh? Okay, there we go. Okay, just in case no one's ever seen down inside of a catalytic converter, it's like some kind of honeycomb that they put uh, platinum or maybe palladium, I don't know, some kind of catalyst in there to uh, basically burn fuel that doesn't burn in the engine, which blows my mind. I mean, I think politicians ought to be shot for uh, forcing these on everybody. I think it's just more bureaucratic crimes. But, uh, anyway, that's what it is. I, I think these things are completely unnecessary for cars. And just a, just a way to rob the public more. But, especially if they're not going to enforce uh, people stealing them. They're just going to let people steal them and then force you to keep on replacing them. Uh, these bureaucratic criminals don't care. Anyway. They make more money that way, anyway. I'm sure they do. That's what it's all about. Okay, and I was looking in the box, and it looks like there's a few more things. This guy's probably like a gasket or something, and we some kind of U thing to hold up this contraption. Some springs. I bet they probably go into here to help. Uh, I don't know, hold it in place, get pressure on it, I don't know. I'm going to try to take off the old flange here, because they cut off somewhere around here, and uh, see see what was mounted up before this. And it's going to be a pain to get in there, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Okay, so th there's not a lot of clearance under these cars. So I think I'm going to try to jack up this car and possibly take off the tire. I probably should have something to prop up the car in case it falls because that's a dangerous thing to do. Let's see my... Okay, so anyway, I got my jack here and the paraphernalia, paraphernalia that goes along with that. And we'll try jacking this thing up and see if we can get a better look at uh, where this uh, catalytic converter goes into the engine. And... Uh, See if we can uh, fix this stupid thing. Okay. Okay, so here's our jack. And we'll get under. There's like a lift point under here. Let's see if we can see where that is. Okay. And that jack has got to go into the lift point. And. Oh, come on. Let's just try jacking it up almost all the way there if I can get it to move. And they have to put this crank thing on here. Jacked up one way or another. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm gonna need two hands for that. Okay, so there we go. I got it under there, and it is positioned on the lift point. It's kind of some plastic stuff in the way, but looks like it should be fine. I'll just try cranking her up. Wow. I'm not sure if I like that. It seems like it's kind of pinching on that plastic. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to resituate that because I don't like how that's on the plastic like that. Maybe that's how the car was designed. I want it to lift on the metal, not the plastic. But this lift point is supposed to go in there so it does, the car doesn't fall out. Okay. All right, let me work on that and I'll see if I can get the tire off. Take a look underneath. 
Okay, here we go. Let's just take off this tire, I guess. Oh, come on. Let's see. Righty, light, tidy, lefty, loosey. All right. Make sure I'm going the right way because I don't want to strip those freaking nuts off. Gosh. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at these nuts off here. Okay, well, I guess I'll just try to get these bolts out of here. And I'll see if we can just take a look behind here to see if uh, we can get to the catalytic converter from behind this tire, which I'm not sure if you can or not. Okay. this under the car here just in case that jack falls or something just to hold the car up okay that way hopefully I don't get killed with this car falls and let's take a look in here see if we can see what is going on be it. Looks like maybe it was actually unbolted. Is this light on? Right there. Let's see if we can zoom in there. I think that is where a catalytic converter was. It looks like someone unbolted it from that side. Okay. Looks like you can kind of get your arms in through where the tire hole goes and get in there and maybe bolt it back up. I'm curious, I'm thinking about using some kind of splice, like uh, they have some kind of muffler splices. I think they're rubber or something. I'd have to look into it. It's been a long time since I've done that. Maybe splice it onto the back. Maybe I'll just take this thing on and off when I'm not using it, take it off. So we'll just sit here without a converter. That looks like, let's see if I can get this in a little bit closer. Okay, I do believe that's where the catalytic converter was. And uh, looks like possibly it was unbolted from here. Okay, let's see. And, okay, so we can get to it, it looks like. Maybe take off this tire from this side, and then take off the other tire from the other side. And I would like to kind of test fit it to see if it overlaps. I may have to cut some more of the, the pipe off. Or maybe it just slides right in there. Slide in. Maybe they just unbolt it and slide it out. See, here's the flange. And uh, let's take a look at the bolts. See if I can take the bolts out of here and see if they fit into that, that hole in there. I need something to cut that with. Okay, so here we go. And here is one of our bolts. Now let's just see if that fits into there. And into there. Oh gosh. Okay, I may have to put the camera down to get it in there. Okay. Okay. Here, and I put that. Here, let's see if I can get my 
camera in there. I'll test fit that bowl in there. And it looks like that bolt fits perfect. And so I don't even have to undo anything there because our master thieves already undid the bolts for me. Okay. So that is where it fits into there. And I'll have to look and test fit how long this catalytic converter is. Maybe it will slide right into the other piece and uh, we can be done with it. Maybe it just unbolts. It's unbelievable as that is. I may have to take that uh, mounting. Let's see. I think this. Oh, here, let's see. I think that might be a mounting gasket there. I may have to pull that out because if we look at uh, what uh, came with our setup here. Let's take a look over here. There's some kind of thing that looks like a gasket there. And I'm going to guess that that goes on where that other thing is on there. Uh, maybe I have to figure out how to take that other thing off. Okay. Okay, so I put the front up there, near where the C-clamp, put a C-clamp on the ground. That's where the flange would go. I want to test fit it. And it looks like this back will fit right up there under that thing. And it could be this guy actually fits around that pipe. Wow, that would be amazing. Let me see if it actually fits around it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the uh, catalytic converter here actually fits right over this pipe, whatever this is. And uh, so we might be able to splice that whole thing into place. I just stuck this in that place for a second to test it out. And I think we might be good to go. Wow. I need to see where the uh, sensor goes now, because it looks like they stole the sensor as well. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Here is our wires hanging down. Oh, let's see, where's the camera? So it looks like... Uh, it plugs up inside the car. And I am not sure exactly how to get into this thing here. Uh, maybe a pain to replace the sensor where it goes. So it looks like it goes up inside. Okay. Anyway, let's try to figure that out and get everything figured out. And we could put this stupid thing back on and see if we've Fix the car with the battery thing too. I was working on the hybrid battery before this all happened. Uh, lots of problems. Okay, so here's our sensor, and it looks like it has some kind of rubber thing too here, just like that other thing has. And it has a plug with four wires coming down out of it. So I guess I just have to figure out how to pull out this rubber plug thing and uh, pull this plug out of the car. Okay, again, let's take a look at that sensor under here. Oh, gosh. Maybe I can... Grab it with a pair of pliers. Jesus Christ. Okay, it looks like it's coming out. Maybe. Wow. Let's get in there with a screwdriver and pry it up a little bit. There we go. 
go. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, well, I guess that did it. Holy cow, where does this thing plug in? Are you freaking kidding me? I don't even know how to get inside of there. It's like way up inside. Oh my god. Okay, so I got this part out and I cannot figure out where it plugs in, but it's like way up inside over here someplace. Someplace impossible to get to it looks like. Okay, so it looks like the wires are kind of right under almost where the jack is. And it looks like they go up inside the car and it feels like there's something soft in there. So it almost feels like maybe the wires come up under this carpet stuff here. I don't know. I don't know if I can tear this apart maybe. And get in there and try to figure out where that it doesn't feel like there's any place to get to it from here. Uh, if I tear this up, it will be able to get this is like where the seat is, maybe down there, about is where the wires come up th through under the car. So maybe I can get to it this way. Okay, maybe I'll stick this tire iron up in that hole. Let's see if it makes a bulge up where that wire is. See if I can figure out where the heck that goes. Okay. Okay, so here's our seat. And I can feel, I have put some under there to hold it up. I can feel the thing coming up right here. Oh, see it just fell down. So if I can peel the carpet back up to this point right there, I should be able to find out where that sensor's plugged in and unplug it so I can replace it. Okay, so to get in the carpet over there, I think the whole carpet's got to be peeled up from this side. Here, let's take a look here. See, because I want to get over here, kind of toward the center of the console, and I think this piece has got to come off, and before that piece comes off, this piece has probably got to come up. And usually you can just pry these things up with a screwdriver or something. Let's see if we can pry this thing up which looks like we can. Okay, there's the first step. Oh, look, the whole thing comes off. Look at that. Wow. And there's all sorts of electronics under there. Okay, so let's see if we can peel this up and get into where the carpeting or where the sensor is. Okay, wow. Like the carpeting's hooked here. Maybe it's hooked here. There's like little clips down here. You have to unclip and pull the carpeting out of that. And there might be something up under this electronic stuff here. It seems like something's holding it back here. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Wow, what is this? More junk. I guess you can pull this piece off down here and assemble disassemble half the car to get to the stupid sensor under here okay wow oh, oh there it is look at that okay wow okay there that's where it comes up and i guess it plugs in right back here oh come on there we go, I found it. So it's right next to the center console there. That's where the uh, sensor comes through. Okay. So I'll see if I can unplug that. And I know we'll be able to uh, put our new sensor in that position. Okay. We have to get in there with some pliers or something. Let's take a look at that again. 
Not a super, super easy place to get to. Uh, there it is. Uh, okay. So there is the plug. Again, that is under that center console thing. And they're like that. Okay. So I'll see if I can unplug that. And maybe we'll plug in the new sensor. But I want to... Don't want to do that until I'm sure it's not going to get stolen or something. Hmm. Okay, to get this thing out of here, looks like you just press down here on the release. And I kind of released it already. And then you can pull it out there. And there is our sensor. It looks very similar to the other one. So let's just feed this back down through this hole down here. Like so. And maybe I'll feed the new one back in and see if we can get it plugged in into the same position. There we go. Fell onto the ground there. Here's our new sensor. It has a very similar plug. So we can feed that back up through the same hole, I think. And plug it into the same same place. Four wires. Okay. Okay. Let's we'll feed this thing back up through the hole, like so. Maybe put this grommet thing in place. Okay, I guess that wasn't so bad. Get this seated in place. And uh, let's go back up above. And there you have it. We have our new plug here. And we'll see if we can plug it back into the socket. I'm not sure which way it goes. Not sure it's keyed to go in one way. Pretty sure. And okay, there we go. It latched into place. Okay. So, I guess we got this guy in place, and, uh, oh. let me, uh, just hide that up underneath the car so it doesn't look obvious that I have a new one down there, because I'm not sure if I'm going to get to putting on the uh, catalytic converter today or not. Very cool, huh? Okay, so um, I did get my catalytic converter here, and um, I've just been a little bit hesitant on putting it on the car because it um, looks like they just unbolted it and uh, maybe use a sawzall on the other end, I'm not sure, to uh, take this thing apart. And uh, I guess the police, I talked to the police, they said they can do it in minutes. and. Uh, also, I asked them, um, can I get my catalytic converter back if they catch the people? They said they caught a few people, but um, if they, they can't identify that it's yours, then they, you won't get it back. So it might be uh, worthwhile, uh, if you have an engraver or something like that, to engrave maybe your VIN number or your name or something on it. I mean, I feel like we're in, we're in kindergarten now. You know, put your name on stuff. So someone doesn't take it, like uh, 
Anyway, this is ridiculous. So I, I came up with an idea. I was thinking, you know, usually I come up with my best ideas when I'm dreaming. So here we go. Let's take a look here. Got some chains and some locks. Now the police officer told me some people are putting like welding um, some kind of a cage or something around the uh, catalytic converter under the car. And I guess if you're good at welding, that might be a good thing for you. So some, a lot of people probably don't know how to weld or have the welding equipment. Uh, I came up with an idea to uh, basically put a chain around the thin part of this, like a handcuff, make it small enough so it can't slide off, and then chain the other end to your car. And, you know, I, I guess people could, in principle, saw this thing in half still to get the chain off. Uh, maybe you could put two chains, put one around this end too, because it's got a thin part. If you're really motivated, <clears throat> just the more difficult you make it for them to steal your stuff, the more, the more it's going to deter them. I don't know. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Call this uh, chaining your uh, catalytic converter. Okay, so I bought some super heavy duty chain and some master locks. So I want to be able to, uh, you know, if I got to change this thing, I'll, I don't want to have to be sawing on something underneath the car forever. That would be the disadvantage of putting a chain on it. I mean, a cage. Look at that. That's the same duty stuff. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't necessarily want these hooks on there, but... Let's see, so, let's see if we can just chain this real tight, like so, and if we can do that, then, uh, well, that would make it hard if I put it on this side, they'd have to really saw close to the catalytic converter, and it would make it hard to, uh, do that, anyway. Let me get my master locks open. I need a, need a knife or something like that to open these up. I bought four identical ones because it's cheaper that way. And I may need to put a lock on this side and a lock on the other side. And then if I do another chain, I may have to do even more locks. So I got four of them just in case. I could chain it up here too. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, get my lock. We got a lock here, and I will want to make this as tight as possible. So I'll bring it up to this link here. Oh, come on. And uh, I'll lock this thing down. There we go. And look at that. We cannot we cannot slide this up over that because it's too small. It's thin on you can't go past this thing because this is welded on there. So in principle you could put a chain on this side, a chain up here, wherever there's a thin area, and you could just make it as difficult as you want to uh, get these things out of here. And it would take a different type of thing. A Sawzall could probably cut through this pretty easily. This is hardened steel, and it's gonna be moving around and stuff. <laughs> and uh, if you keep the chain tight under the car, you know, you could cut this maybe with a uh, bolt cutter, but that requires a lot of room because they got like long, um, I don't know, call it arms or whatever, long lever arms. And if you've got this chain tied up under the car, they won't be able to get it under the car to cut it or keep it up inside of things. If you wrap this around and chain this to something else in the car and lock it up. And I, I think it will make it very difficult for these criminals to steal your catalytic converter. Maybe you want to leave this hanging down so they don't even start sawing on your car. They'll see there's, so, there's something weird going on here. We've got a lock. Yeah. 
Okay. So I think we might be all set here. Very cool, huh? There you go. Chain your catalytic converter to your car. <laughs> We're just heading into a brand new era of dystopia. And I won't tell you who's to blame because I'll probably get me censored who I think's to blame because I can only surmise. Anyway, here we go. I think that might save you a lot of grief. At least me. We'll try this out. <laughs> Very cool, huh? Okay, it's time for our masterpiece on our car. There we go. Okay, got our chain on there, and here's our Prius. Okay, I'll get this under there. I got the car jacked up. It'll fit in place, hopefully. Looks like this is going to be about the right length here to fit over this thing in the back. Yeah, this goes in the back. This exhaust thing in the back. Okay. So let's try to get that on there. Pushing this forward. And then see if we can get the bolts in place in the front. Okay, just about got it on. I've been pushing this guy back. And uh, oh, just a little bit more, and it'll be over there. And we'll have this thing in place. Okay. This is kind of like converter, and this is the back part of the uh, car muffler system. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I kind of got it over there. It is a tight fit. And there is our. Kind of like converter, I kind of fitted it over the place where it goes up at the front, and then I was able to push this forward enough and push the muffler thing back enough to kind of wedge it in there. Okay, I don't know if it'll always be the same uh, when other people steal your catalytic converter, but in this case it seemed to work out pretty close. I may have to put some joint thing over this to hold this in place. I don't know, we'll see. Okay. I'll have to push it in further. I don't know. I'll fiddle with this a little bit more. Okay, let's take a look here. Here I got our wheel off. And... Uh, yeah, the catalytic converter. Kind of in the place where it needs to go. Looks like the bolt is not quite completely lined up. I may need to torque this a little bit. Put the camera in here. Come on. Okay, so then it's off a little bit, so I need to twist this a little bit. And then I think I'll be able to stick these bolts on. At least the bolt on this side. And uh, then uh, I'll worry about chaining this thing up. Because you want to chain it up to something that's not going to be moving or get caught on the road or in some axle or something like that because that will cause a whole bunch of problems. Maybe I can chain it to this bar right here. This looks like that might be a part of the suspension or something. 
but it will make it hard for them to steal this. Okay, let me get that twisted a little bit and then we'll try putting our bolts in there and uh, finishing this job up hopefully. Okay, so here is our bolt with the spring on it, and I believe this helps hold the catalytic converter up against where it's supposed to be mounted to, and I think I got it rotated right, so let me just get this in there, and I got to reach in really far, so I'll have to put down the camera to do that. Okay, okay unfortunately the spring is too long. I can't get it in finger tight without the spring it's pushing back, won't let me get the first threads in, and it is a really tough spring. So uh, let me get my ratchet, and it is a 14 millimeter, and we'll try to yeah, use this to help us push it in and twist it, I guess. Oh gosh, and I have to put the camera down for this one. Okay, so I am having a lot of trouble with that stupid spring. Let's take a look here. I'm thinking about cutting it down about a centimeter or so because I cannot even get it threaded onto um, where it's supposed to go and it is super stiff. I think it's stripping out the threads as I try to thread it in and it's getting dark and I'm getting tired. I'm thinking about locking up my catalytic converter so no one steals it. So I took that chain that was the other end of it that was around my catalytic converter and I tried to find something that hopefully doesn't rotate and I think maybe this bar in here doesn't so I looped it around there like so and I'll lock through the links to lock it in there I've got to put my camera down I think I'm going to lock it up so no one steals it, and uh, I'll work on this tomorrow. Maybe I'll cut those springs down because those springs are really pissing me off. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look here. steering bar but I think the stuff goes to the center of it I think maybe that part doesn't move and maybe it will be safe from uh, rotating things let's take a look here okay so there we go got it chained up there and oh gosh, I ran the chain out of the way down underneath here. And I guess I might put my tire back on and jack it down so people don't steal my tire because we are living in a third world country now, thanks to our criminal leaders. Uh, anyway, so that's how you chain up your catalytic converter. I think I'm going to cut down those springs because I have been messing around with that stupid thing for about an hour now and I, I just think it keeps on, every time I get a thread on it, that, that spring uh, strips it out. A piece of garbage thing. I cut off about a centimeter of that spring, I think. And uh, then we'll see if we can stick that thing on. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at these springs. The springs are not symmetrical, okay? One side is smaller and the other side's bigger, and I think I'm gonna try to cut these springs because I'm getting fed up with trying to screw them on. They're super strong and it's just stripping out the threads every time I get one thread in. So I think you wanna keep the smaller end because that's gotta fit around the top of the nut. And you put it the other way, let's take a look here. See, it's kind of big and it springs out around this, sprawls out around this nut, so, or head of the bolt. So I think you rather keep 
small end here, and I think I'm going to try to cut this big end. I'm just going to cut a little bit. I'm probably going to cut it right here, and I'm going to cut it the fastest way I know possible, in the simplest way, because let's face it, um, we all don't have a lot of time. We're all slaves to the clock, to the system, to money. <clears throat> and so, um, let's uh, get this thing done. And this is the fastest way I know how to cut it. This is a spot welder. And if you dwell on the part too long, just put this between the pinchers where you want to cut it. And if you dwell on the part too long, it will just cut a hole in it. Uh, I think I'm going to cut the bare minimum first. I'm just going to cut it right under here. And I'm going to have to get this positioned in there. And what this does is this runs a whole bunch of current can you see that? A whole bunch of current through these uh, pincher things here. And since steel has a much higher resistance than uh, copper, it uh, basically heats up a lot more there. Yeah, well, let's see, make sure I got it pinched in there good. And there we go. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ow, ow. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Cut it off. And it's probably hotter than you know what. Let's open this guy up. And I should be able to look at that. Cut the spring right off. It's fast and it kind of burnt me too with burning metal that shot toward me. But anyway, we'll do that with the other one. You got the idea. And it's a little bit shorter, so maybe we can get the thing on there now. Very cool, huh? Anyway, remember it's probably really hot where it cut it. It's gonna take a while for that to cool down. Well, okay, there we go. Look at that. Got them both cut off, and it's more manageable now. It's a lot shorter. Or not a lot shorter, but I think short enough now that maybe I won't kill myself trying to get the threads in there. And if it's not short enough, I'll just cut a little bit more off. Remember, don't cut off too much because you can't put it back on once you cut it off. It's not very easily. Anyway, I'll give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, so I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but I was using the stupid jack that comes with it, and it started getting really hard to turn it like it was binding up, and when I was looking at it under the car, it looked like it was twisting, and so I didn't want to trust it anymore, so I went out and got a new jack to jack this thing up. Okay, it's a lot easier to use this thing. Hydraulic jack brings it up in a few seconds, rather than twisting that crank forever and destroying your... Uh, skin on your hands and everything anyway so let's get the tire off and we'll see if we can fit our new bolts in okay so now we have our new bolt and spring it wouldn't fit in there before it was impossible to compress it and it was too long and uh, so I cut off a little bit of it and let's see if it fits now check that out okay Let's see, here we go. So here's our new bolt. Let's put it on here. And uh, let's get in here. Let's see if we can get this into the catalytic converter hole up here. I want to get this in there. Okay, again, here's our brake. We're coming in here. And it looks like by cutting off that spring, let's take a look, come on, get it in there. Where is it? Uh, okay, there. We were able to get the bolt in there finger tight. See that? There we go. So the bolt is in the catalytic converter and let me get my ratchet and I'll tighten that one up and go around to the other side and do put the bolt in there. And then, oh, let's 
It's a lot nicer with this three ton jack here. <laughs> that brings it up real quick. Okay. Okay, let's take a look in there. And I'm able to ratchet the thing now. And I'm going to ratchet it down some. I probably don't want to ratchet it all the way because I don't want to torque it too much to this side. But maybe I'll come back and tighten it up after I get the other bolt in. Sometimes when you tighten up one bolt too much, sometimes when you tighten up one bolt too much, it'll torque something sideways so you can't get the other bolt in. So I want to make sure I get both bolts in. So I may have to go back and forth and do this tire thing, take the tire on and off. And... Uh, be a lot faster with my new three-ton jack that's for sure okay now getting this tire back on this side so I can remove the jack and have it sit on its own tire so I can take the jack over the other side and get in from the other side hopefully I can get to this stupid catalytic converter over there I haven't tried that side yet but we'll see be a lot easier and a lot safer than having to crawl under this car while it's jacked up. Okay. Let me get these on and tight. Let's see, where's my freaking wrench thing? Oh, it's right there on the ground. Oh. Let this thing down, I guess. Let's see. I'm gonna twist this thing. Bring it down. Come on. Hmm. I don't know how to bring it down now. Okay, I guess you have to have the handle down in this position for the bring the jack down. And look at that. Oh, this is so awesome. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got this under the lift point. Looks like this stupid tire is going flat. Look how fast this thing picks that up. This is so freaking awesome. Look at that. I see if there's a problem with that tire and then reinflate it when I get it off. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, get this driver's side tire off of here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, we'll try to get in there and see if we can put the other bolt on the other side of that catalytic converter. Okay. okay, so here's our second bolt and spring that I cut off. And they're coming in from the driver's side. And it looks like there is possibly room to get in there. Oh, wait, there might be something in the way here. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh. Okay. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can get in there and put this bolt in there. Okay, so it looks like I can't come in through the tire wall because I think it's the steering column that comes down through and it's in the way. So let's, uh, let's bring this car down. Slowly, hopefully. Whoop. Well, almost slowly. And I'm going to reposition this jack so I can come in behind the wheel. And uh, <clears throat> maybe I can come in. I might need an extender and come up from the bottom back here. And so who knows? I may need this high power jack to get under there because the other jack definitely wouldn't lift it up that high. Okay, man, look at this. Look at the power of that thing. Just lifts that car up like nobody's business. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Here's our catalytic converter. 
and see the bolts way up there. It looks like I need an extender, possibly. Because I don't think I can reach my hand all the way up there. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can get this in view better. Okay. Look at that. There's our catalytic converter chained up. No one's stolen it yet while I've been working on it. Very cool, huh? Okay, let's take a look here. I got an 18 inch extender. Look at that. Take a look here. I think that's going to be enough to get up in there. We'll see. Let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. I got an 18 inch extender. Let's see if we can get that bolt up in the hole. Yeah, it looks like this is going to work pretty good. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get this in there and tightened up. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. Very cool, huh? Okay, so I guess while we're down here, we just remove the plug from the catalytic converter. Okay, like so. And I have my oxygen sensor, which was also stolen. Okay. And uh, I may want to try to take up some of the slack of the wire, but okay, let's get this here. And this thing. Oh, yeah, let's take off this plastic protector. Oh, come on. Okay. So there's our oxygen sensor. I may want to twist this backwards a little bit because I'm going to have to twist it forward a lot to screw it in to this whole thing here. Get it in there. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm gonna need a crescent wrench or something to tighten that up. I think we are almost golden. Look at that. Very cool, huh? Let's see if I can get a better. Okay, there we go, got our chain lock here, chain around here, got our sensor in, got everything bolted up, I think we're looking in pretty good shape. Okay. okay, of course when you're lifting with a jack it's good to have a safety backup, because hydraulic jacks can leak down or they could fall over, that would even be worse. So I have a lock under the tire so the car won't fall all the way down. So it might save your life if something happens. Keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, let's test out our fix. Let's turn the power on. Okay. Looks like it's going into reverse. Okay. Forward. And there we go. No more sounding like an airplane. Sounds like the engine's running. And uh, not seeing any arrow lights up here. Very cool. Okay, we'll have to take it for a test drive. Put it in park for a second. Okay. Okay, okay, so I ordered um, this off of Amazon. I'm waiting for this to come. I think this will be the final fix for our Prius. Okay, so what this is, 
my buddy at Burke, uh, work recommended this and hopefully it fits what's kind of s smaller than the tube jeez that's a exhaust band clamp and so with this you know when they cut my catalytic converter off um, I was a little bit concerned I, I was able to stick it into the other part and it should either be welded or clamped or something in place and I, this is a lot cheaper fix than uh, welding it the car's got a lot of miles on it and so I just wanted to uh, clamp the two parts together because it only had about a centimeter of uh, one pipe and the other I didn't want to go over a bump and start dragging my catalytic converter now this might be too small I might have to send it back it seems seems small but anyway the idea is I can put this around both you know the catalytic converter would be here the joint would be in the middle and then the other uh, uh, exhaust pipe would be on the other side and uh, I can use this to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out of place while I'm driving and keep it secure but it looks like it might be too small I'll have to test it and see okay. Okay, so we have the car jacked up, and I'm going to take my uh, exhaust band clamp and uh, just get under the car and just size it up to see if it looks like it's going to fit or not. See if I have to order a bigger one and send this one back or something. Got this one off of Amazon. I'll probably include some links in the video description if you're interested. Anyway, let's take a look and see what's going on under here. Okay, here's our clamp. Let's just take a look and test fit it under here. See. Oh. Okay. See, here's our lock that we put on the catalytic converter up there. Yeah. And here's the catalytic converter. And right here is the junction of where the catalytic converter ties into our muffler system. And here is our uh, band clamp, our exhaust band clamp. And it looks like it might be big enough to fit around there. Okay, so let's just uh, uh, come on. take this guy out here and we'll take it apart. Now normally I think people would uh, put this on before you assemble it probably slide in there. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't have the foresight to do that so hopefully I can open it up wide enough to fit it around both of those uh, pipes. Ah, come on. I might need a wrench for this one. It looks like the nut comes out of that. Come on. Ah, come on. Okay, so two screws, two nuts. Oh, see how this thing comes apart for real. Hopefully, this unwinds so that I can. Fit it around without taking that exhaust apart. I'm gonna have to manhandle this. Let's see if I can't get it out with one hand. Okay, okay, so it looks like these clamps actually just slide off like so. If I can get it with one hand, see it's sliding off the end. Okay, so hopefully this unit completely disassembles and I can just reassemble it around the exhaust. Okay, that looks like there's two pieces that fit inside each other, like so. Come on, do these come apart? Please, let these come apart. No. No, I need, may need to put a little bit of force on these. Okay, so I was able to slide the inner out of the outer, and so I think I may be able to assemble these in parts, spread these out, hopefully, get them over the pipe and put it back together and have it clamped down. So here's the inner piece, here's the outer piece, and the clamps go around both of those, and here's the bolts. Oh, very cool, huh? Okay, let's see if I can get those on there, and we'll see. To bend that thing quite a bit to fit it around, I think. Yeah. Okay, hopefully I haven't destroyed it. I bent this thing just 
bent these tabs out, this out. Hopefully I can fit it around the pipe and bend it back in place. This is the inner one. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, that one. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I gotta do this without cutting myself or pinching my fingers. Oh man. Okay, there. We got the first layer around it. Oh my god, it looks kind of too big almost. Hopefully, those clamps will fit around this. Jesus. Not many of this. Buy some hose clamps and clamp it on and call it good enough. Okay, I'll put the second layer on next. That looks really looks too big. I probably should have got a bigger size. This must be bigger than what they're claiming. Okay. Okay, so I also bent this one wider. It was narrower than that before. Let me see if I can. Uh. Put this over top of the other one. Come on. Get those tabs underneath. Oh my gosh. Come on. Just gonna feed it in underneath. I want this to overlap. Yeah, I think these are too small. Come on. For real. Okay, so I got these both over there, but they don't really go around completely. Ah, probably should have got a bigger size. Probably the two inch one would have been better. This is an inch and a half. Um, maybe that tab is not under there. Come on. There. Well, I think I might... Probably hose clamps would not be a good... They, they have special clamps for exhaust systems. That used to go almost all the way around. I'm, I'm going to guess these clamps that came with it are not going to fit. So maybe I'll go to the auto parts store and get a couple more clamps and just clamp it up here and down here. Clamp it really tight. And then call it a day. Okay. I just don't want this thing to fall down while I'm driving around. Okay. Okay, I'll just okay, I'll just test it fitting this clamp around there and there's no way that that bolt's gonna go through and cinch this down and I can't even get it over this monstrosity here. I just got it over the exhaust pipe. So this is uh, not acceptable. This this uh, is too small. I should have gone with the two inch maybe. So um I don't feel like waiting to send this back. I think probably this junk in here is strong enough that if I put some real strong clamps on it it'll hold it so this this doesn't fall down. So I'll see if I can find some exhaust clamps. To, two of them, maybe put one on here and one on there and just clamp this, uh, these two pieces of steel around this and keep it from falling apart while I drive. Okay. There, okay. Um, I didn't have the light on. Okay, so let's head over to the auto parts store and see what we can find. Okay, I went out and I got some two inch uh, exhaust clamps. Let's take a look at what these things look like. Okay. So there we go. So hopefully that will fit around our, uh, let's take a look here. Our contraption in there. Okay. So let's see if those fit. Okay, so here's our stuff we already put on there, and here's a U-clamp, it looks like 2 inch, just barely fits over there, jeez, I need to persuade it a little bit, but, uh, oh come on, so these need to be squeezed a little bit so they come down, I guess, oh, come on, Okay, so that's in place, kind of. Okay, I got one on. I'll kind of put it toward one side, and uh, here's our other part that goes on here. Okay, there we go. 
Now I gotta get my nuts. I gotta find my nuts. That's where my nuts go. Okay, oh, I think I dropped one. Well, let me just get one on. And, uh, I think we'll be good to go. Oh, come on. I need two hands for this. This is gonna be impossible to do. Uh. Okay, got the first one on. Just got these finger tight. I'll get the second one on up here. And, uh, and we'll tighten them up with a ratchet, and I think we'll be done with the project. Okay, so since when you put these nuts on, they protrude, this screw protrudes out, you're going to need a deep socket, I think, to tighten those things up. And so, here I found a deep socket that fits it. These particular ones. And, uh, unfortunately, the only thing I could find, this is a half-inch drive up here, so I only, only find a breaker bar. Looks like it's 9 sixteenths. Anyway, so we'll use that to tighten this up. It's not going to be pretty, but we'll get it done. Okay, let me get the last clamp on. Okay, there we go. There's the finished product, and I think it's on there pretty tight. It's clamping both sides, and so I think we have fixed the problem and hopefully no one will be messing with our catalytic converter again now that we've chained it up and locked it anyway this is uh okay so let's check the error codes make sure that there's no error codes there and there's three different banks that we have to check so i haven't seen any errors up on the dashboard no errors up there Okay. Read codes, stored codes. No core, uh, no codes are stored in that module. Okay, so we'll exit, exit, and I'll go to the next bank. Enter. Read codes. Enter. Stored codes. No stored codes in that module. Okay. And this is where we've had the problem before in that module. Read stored codes. No codes. Okay, there we go. Looks like I passed the inspection for Virginia's illegal uh, four state inspections of emissions on your cars. And so I'm good to go for another year, evading the bureaucratic criminals again. And uh, paying them off, I guess, because it cost me 40, another $40 to get this. Anyway. So it looks like the catalytic converter and the sensor are behaving good. This is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.